Hello, impressive human being, and welcome to Live Your Impressivity TV show. If you have ever wondered what does impressivity mean, where does it come from, why are so many people going crazy about this concept, and most importantly, how can you find out what your impressivity is in a simple and fun way, then stick around. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and make sure that you stick around to get impressed by amazing content every week. Now, you probably have already Googled what impressivity is or maybe you looked it up in the dictionary and surprise, you might feel confused because it's not there. If you haven't done so, you probably already hit pause and went on Google and typed in impressivity. Probably the thing that comes up is my website, but you are not wrong because impressivity is not a word in the English dictionary yet. So what does impressivity mean? Impressivity is a noun that describes one's quality to be unique and impressive. The ability to impress yourself. It's your superpower, your essence, your passion that lights up your soul. So how did this concept come to life? Well, I thought about this word a few years ago when I was looking for a word for describing my blog. In 2014, I launched for the first time my blog, Impressivity, and I wanted it to have a name that describes something that makes an impression, something that aligns with fashion and traveling and dating and all these crazy things that I wanted to share with my readers on my blog. So I spent about two weeks of brainstorming and I was keeping a notebook and a pen next to my bed and I was always scribbling down all sorts of crazy ideas that were coming to my mind. And then one night I woke up in the middle of the night, I wrote down impressivity and then I went to bed. In the morning when I woke up and I looked at my notebook and I said, impressivity, what is this? What does it mean? And I started thinking about it and the concept was so clear. I wanted it to be big, I wanted it to have resonance and to really mean that fuel power that you feel in your soul, that lights up your soul. There it was, impressivity. It was a way to make an impression, it was a way for people to have an impression about everything that surrounds them and most importantly, for people to impress themselves. Now I'm really, really excited to be able to share this definition with you because it has been a while since I really made it so, so clear and you know, we are all impressive and you are impressive and I want you to remember this every single day. So you might wonder, how do I find my impressivity? Well, you know, sometimes you feel attracted to certain activities or you feel happier when you spend your time and energy doing something in particular. And sometimes, you know, it might not even have to do with your daily activity or with your current work, but that doesn't mean that you have to quit your job and go and follow all your hobbies. Just make sure that when you feel attracted to doing something, just try it out. You know, that is one way to find your impressivity. Just maybe join a cooking class if you feel attracted to finding out more about cooking or learn how to play an instrument if that is something that attracts you or, you know, just pay attention to what is that really, really makes you feel happy or something that you feel drawn to. And then just start living your impressivity by really making time to bring that real passion, that real fuel that makes your soul happy into your life. Make room for it, make space, make time and really uh, allocate time to spend on that activity. Now, you might feel that, okay, I really don't have time to try all these crazy ideas that come into my mind, so I really want to know what my impressivity is. So for you, I have prepared a special gift and that is a free quiz that you can download from the link under the video. And this way you can spend about 10 or 15 minutes answering those questions and figuring out what your impressivity is. And I bet that you will know what it is that really makes you happy and what your impressivity is because you are amazing and you definitely have so many unique talents and gifts and I want you to remember this. It's not wrong that you have several passions or several things that make you feel impressive. You know, I have so many people coming to me saying, Alex, but I'm passionate about sports and music and photography. What is wrong with me? 
there is nothing wrong with you. You are multi-passionate, you are multi-talented and that's absolutely okay. You know, it's just a matter of really making time to fit these things into your schedule and make sure that you feel happy doing them. Living your impressivity is really about you impressing yourself because once you do something with passion, you will want to become better and better. You will want to grow and you will want to master that craft and that activity. For instance, for me, it was really a passion to dance. I have been dancing ever since I was six years old and I was always really, really into dancing no matter what that meant. And it was just a passion for me, you know, I was always making time at the end of the week to go dancing or really find some time to do it. And later on, I have embarked on another journey that made me even better at dancing. I really wanted to master my craft, so I got my Zumba instructor certification so that I could actually learn how to create a choreography, how to take it to the next level and how to include it in my work. I'm also passionate about writing and meditation and yoga and all these crazy things so I always try to find a way to really mix and match and really make sure that I can make room and space for all these things that really make me happy and bring so much fun into my life. If you like the concept of impressivity, then make sure that you hit subscribe, you hit like the like button, you share this video with a friend and you download the free gift below. And I want to hear from you. Please leave me a comment below and say what is your impressivity because I really, really want to encourage you to follow your dreams, to really impress yourself and to live your impressivity. I'm bringing you new content every Tuesday and that's going to be dancing choreographies and interviews with really awesome impressive people and all sorts of tips and tricks on how to live your impressivity. So I will see you in the comments and until next time, stay impressive!